Good morning, church, and welcome to Audacious Devotionals. I'm Sophie Elliott, and I am part of the Central Manchester location, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you as part of the My Miracle series. Now, back in August, I had a skating accident, and I broke my wrist. I broke it good. I had to have an operation. I had to have plates put on. It was like a whole wiggle situation. It was not good. It was not a pleasant experience. Do not recommend. Um, and yet God used that and God did so many miracles in that whole situation. And I just wanted to share with you a few of the miracles that happened within the first two hours. So I broke my wrist and me and my friend were driving to the hospital. It's only six minutes away, which is in itself a miracle. But for those six minutes, we're praying for two things. We're praying one, that I would get through A&E as quickly as possible. And two, that I would not be in as much pain as I ought to be for how bad the break was. So we get to the hospital, we go to A&E, we get triaged, we go to the x-ray waiting room, we get the x-ray done, my x-rays then get looked at and I get sent to the ward and that process takes 20 minutes. 20 minutes, like that in itself is a huge miracle. I don't think I've ever heard of anyone getting through A&E in 20 minutes in Manchester. Um, and yet, I end up in this, uh, in the ward. Um, but then I have to wait for two hours because you're not allowed to have medication if you've had liquids and I have water at the skate park. So I have to wait 20 minutes without any painkillers. But for those two hours, I wasn't in that much pain, not for the level that I should have been at for the kind of break that I'd had. And that's because for those two hours, I did not stop worshipping God. I was singing at the top of my lungs worship songs like everyone in that ward must have known that I was a Christian because I was singing so loudly um, praises to God. But I knew if I stopped singing, then I would be in more pain because I knew that the worship was actually helping me in that moment because worship is a weapon. In Colossians 3.16, it says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your heart to God. When we sing and when we sing hymns and when we sing praises and sing um, spiritual songs and thankfulness, we're letting the word of God dwell within us. And when we start using those as a weapon, in painful situations, it can make things so much easier. It can make things so much more peaceful. And I don't know where you're at this morning. I don't know whether you're in a difficult situation, a hard situation, a situation where you might think, actually, this is, it's painful right now, whether that's emotional or physical or whatever your situation is. I just want to encourage you to start with worship, start with praising, start with thankfulness. And maybe you're in a situation where actually it's all fine. You know, it's it's good right now. Well, I want to encourage you to also start praising. Start your day with worship and thankfulness to God because we're taught in the Bible that there will be tests. There will be difficulty. In John 16 verse 33, it says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. We will have trouble, but in Jesus, we can have peace. I remember um, when I was doing my GCSEs, I realised that I could remember songs from decades earlier that I hadn't heard for years. I could remember all of the lyrics, but I actually couldn't remember the information that I needed for the test that I'd read 10 minutes earlier. So I took all of my notes and I turned them into songs and I can still remember the raps for my GCSE geography exam in my head. I know I'm not gonna rap them right now. You might have come to this devotional thinking she's gonna rap for us today. Well, that's that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna rap you my geography exam. Um, but because I'd taken my information, turned it into songs, by the time that the test came, I had all of the things I needed. And that's the same thing with worship, that by the time the test comes, we have everything that we need in order to face the test. In Ephesians 6 verse 13, it says, Therefore put on the full armour of God, 
so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. When the day of evil comes, when that test comes, you're able to stand firm, knowing that you have the peace of God with you. And one of those things, one of that, um, the pieces of armour that we can put on is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And this worship, when we get worshipful, we are taking the full armour of God. We're taking the sword of the spirit that is the word of God and we are using it in the trials and the difficulties that we face. And imagine what our days would look like if we started our day with praise and worship to God. If we started that um, consistency in praising God, even when it's difficult, even when it's painful, if we start by praising, how much better is it going to be? And so I just want to challenge you this morning um, to, to, yeah, start your day with worship, start your day with praising God. Start with that thankfulness. So I'm just going to pray for us all right now. Lord, I just want to pray for everyone who's watching this video. I want to pray that they can just see you in everything that they do today. We want to thank you for who you are and what you've done. And we want to thank you that you are a God who gives us all of the things that we need. I want to pray for every person who comes under my voice right now that they will be able to be equipped with the things that they need for today. May you bless them. May you keep them. May your face shine upon them. In your mighty name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us on Audacious Devotionals. Can't wait to see you on Sunday. Make sure if you're watching online to speak to us in the chat and we will see you on Sunday. Have a great day.